Hello guys, this is your favorite poly, I mean Indian guy, and today we will learn about if statement in C++, so let's start. So, as you can see, I wrote some basic code right here. You can see this code in my previous video, in my first video. So, it's written here, and now I can teach you how to use if statement. So, first of all, we need to write if then we need to put these brackets and these brackets between these two brackets we need to put some statement and the program will check if that statement is true so let's put them there something like maybe is 5 equal to 5 and if that's true then we need we make this program to type uh, yes let's see if that works yes as you can see it works very good now let's make this more usable let's create variable and let it be some integer number and now let's ask user to put some number and we we need to type put some number then we need to make program take this number from user so we need to write c in and then our variable it's a and then user has to put this variable after he put this we will check if that's variable higher than 10 and if that's true we will type your number is higher than 10 and let's check if that works let's put some number let's put number 15 and as you can see it works very good but it's it's still not as usable as it could be because uh, right now we will add else statement what is else statement else statement is doing thing between these two brackets when this statement is false so in that case when a is not higher than 10 so let's check your now let's write there if that statement is not true then this would work your number is lower or equal 10 lower than 10 or equal 10 let's see if that works put some number let's put 5 as you can see it works very good now let's check if we put number higher than 10 let's let it be 11 it works also we have some a other statement and it's else if what does it mean between these two brackets we put some we, we put some condition and let it be a equal 10 and how does it work well if that statement is not true this condition is not true then this part of program will work but if it but if we need it to work if we want it to work then this also has to be true and if that's not true these two conditions are false then this would work so let's put another c out and let's put your number is 10 and also let's change it here because in this code our variable could can't be equal 10 because if it was equal 10 then this would work not this so let's delete equal 10 let's just leave lower than 10 and now let's see if it works let's put some number let it be 10 as you can see it works let's put some number like 7 it works very good and now let's put some number like 11 and it works very good 
Thank you guys for this video. I hope you like it. Please leave comment and leave some like, shares, and what is most important, subscribe. Thank you very much and see you next video. Bye.